COVID-19 pandemic changing the way we live our lives and the way we learn. The health crisis forcing many schools to go remote, a stressful situation for educators, students, and parents alike. No doubt. Well, in tonight's cover story, WGN's Marcella Raymond introduces us to one family trying to manage the constant changes with advice from the experts. For eight months, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected every aspect of our lives. Over and over, parents tell me their children's mental health is suffering. For most students, Zoom or hybrid learning are the only options right now. So paying attention to your child is more important than ever. Eighth grader Owen Jordan used to be the first one up in the morning, eager and ready to go to school. That's changed since hybrid learning. I was having to wake him up. Like he was, it was like, okay, oh, it's 7.30, you're gonna have to get on to Zoom. It's, you know, time is, you know, time's ticking. And For his mom, Lisa, a former ER nurse and ER director, that was a big and red flag. To, as a mother, you are, you wanna make everything right for your kids. You want them to be in a thriving environment. You wanna have them be happy, be social, you know, do well in school, learn. Um, when you can't make the changes for them, it, it hurts your heart. It just made my anxiety levels go up a lot. Owen goes to middle school in Arlington Heights two days a week and learns remotely three. But the straight A student is struggling. School was the place where he socialized, was able to communicate easily with teachers, was challenged, and thrived in theater. It's just very hard to feel connected when we're all physically and mentally separated. Now the lines are blurred. There is no beginning or end of the day. School was where you worked and home was your sanctuary. But with siblings and parents working from home too, nothing seems normal. It's definitely hard to stay like focused, especially when there's so much distraction all around you. The rules constantly change, routines constantly change. How do you have hope when the end is open? I think that we need to send a more positive message. Um, we need to kind of reinvent them and re kind of inspire them to say, well, there is a point, there is a purpose. What is your purpose? Franny Jordan, no relation to Owen and Lisa, is an educational and behavioral therapist. She says families need to find balance between safety and work and play. So many students will come to me and say, well, what's the point? Um, they're feeling very negative. The day passes and they're slowly feeling more and more isolated. Purpose, collaboration, instructional needs, motivation, structure, all keys to success during this very trying time. Take a shower. Um, you know, set meal times. Don't graze all day because you can. So have a talk with your kids. Watch for changing behaviors. Ask for help if needed. Always err on the side of caution and give yourself a break. You know, there's been times where I've cried at night. Lisa Jordan is not alone. The pandemic is weighing on all of us, but experts say take a break from the computer and get outside or plan family time. That's fun. It is critical to your family's physical and mental health. Check out our website, WGNTV.com, for a list of resources and organizations that can tell you the signs to look for and where to go for help.